And then Imam Ghazali, he mentions how we can refresh the remembrance of that maut ki yaad ko pukhta karne ka tarika, taza karne ka tarika. He speaks about death and he says how severe that time is naza ka alam. When a person is on the verge of passing away, he goes through so much pain. And it's in the Quran, Wajaat Sakratul Maut Bil Haq. So Imam Ghazali says, why aren't we concerned about that time? And he says the reason is because we remember death, but we remember death whilst our heart is engaged in the luxuries of the dunya. So this is why there's no impact on us. We remember death, but our heart is elsewhere. So Imam Ghazali says, this is how you should remember death. You should take everything out, whatever's in your thoughts, mind, whatever's in your heart, take it out and then you remember death. And Imam Ghazali, he gives an example. He says, just say you're walking past a jungle and there's these really uh, dangerous animals there. When you're walking past, would you be thinking about something else? No. Or just say we're walking outside a pub and there's a lot of drunkards there and we know they're causing havoc. If we're walking past them, will we be thinking about something else? No, we'll be thinking about our journey. So Imam Ghazali says when you remember death in the same manner, you take everything else out. This is when the remembrance of death will have an impact on this person and he will distance himself from the luxuries and the desires of the dunya. Imam Ghazali says the best tariqah, the best method is to remember your friend who was your age. Remember him, think of him who has passed away. Think about his life. Where was he working? What did he look like? What was he doing? And then Imam Ghazali says, think about this, that his face, the soil in his grave must have changed his face. Think about his body that the grave must have separated his body parts. Think about how he wasted his children's money, how he's made his mosque empty and now there's no sign of him. There's no sign of him. Imam Ghazali, he says, when you remember those that have passed away and then you remember their life, you think how active they were and how they had forgotten death, the remembrance of death, how they were deceived by the dunya, what were they focusing on? Playing, they were focusing on uh, ability, they were focusing on uh, sports. And Imam Ghazali says, what about now? Unke aaba ke jor unke qabze mein nahi hai. So their joints, they're not, their body, of their body, they're not in their control. He says their tongue, Without any fear, they were going and saying whatever they want. But now that tongue has been eaten up by the worms in the graves. And he says their teeth, they were laughing around and their teeth, the, the soil must have eaten up their teeth. He says, think like this, that they were buying things that would last them 10, 10 years. But death that was just a month away, they weren't thinking about it. And then death came to them when they weren't expecting it. And when the angel of death came before them, this is when they began to hear voices, heaven or hell. Imam Ghazali says, when a person thinks like this, he thinks about them and then he thinks about himself. He thinks about them that they were ghafil with regards to death. But so are we. So a person then thinks that whatever their outcome was, our outcome will be the same. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, when he would remember death, he would say that when you remember death, you should consider yourself to be among the dead. And Umar bin Abdul Aziz, he would say, look, every day a kafan is being prepared, a mayit is being given ghusl, burial is taking place. Their pillow will be soiled and they will separate from the dunya and the luxuries of the dunya, the people of the dunya. So I'm, I'm finishing off now. Imam Ghazali, he says, when you visit those that aren't well, when you see someone passing away, 
when you see someone that has passed away when you visit the cemetery this will what this is what will refresh the remembrance of death is se maut ki yaad pukhta hogi aur taza hogi and when a person remembers death like this and the remembrance of death becomes ghalib in his heart he overpowers any other remembrance he says this is when this person he will always see death before him and you can have hope in this person that he will prepare for the akhirah and if someone he just speaks about death he is to scare some people or he scares himself you know and his heart is elsewhere this won't benefit this person much this is the final message of imam ghazali now in this first chapter of his from his book dhikr al maut wa ma ba'dahu he says when you fall in love with something you should think that i will separate from this thing and it comes with regards to ibn mutir he looked at his house and he said he was impressed but then he said you know if if there was no death then you should have given me happiness and he said you know if there was no grave then the luxuries of the dunya they would have given me a lot of peace and tranquility so i make dua may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to remember death and to prepare for the afterlife وما توفيقي الا بالله عليه توكلت واليه انيب اذان has been called up to so the brothers that haven't offered their sunnah you could offer your sunnah and can i request my brothers if you could please look you're standing up if you could please come forward also and you could fill in the gaps this would make life easy for the brothers that are going to be coming in the next 15 minutes